Around the turn down the back stretch, Western Dreamer in front by length and effort, two rows second. At point blank, rushing up on the outside third. Ramsey's two fourth, two lengths back to Dauntless Bunny fifth. The man respect sixth. Gap of two lengths, Stonebridge do run trails the field seventh. Quarter times, 28 seconds flat. At the paddock turn the first time, at point blank gets the lead and now goes off stride at point blank in a break. As they come by the stands the first time, Western Dreamer leads by length, thought two row on the rail, second, Ramsey's two, third, two lengths back to Dauntless Bunny, fourth, the man respect fifth, Stonebridge do run sixth. Approaching the half mile pole, Western Dreamer in front by two and a half lengths, thought two row second, half time is 57 and three. Around the clubhouse turn the final time. Western Dreamer leads by two and a half lengths. Odd two row second. Ramsey's two third. Stonebridge do run moving on the outside fourth. Dauntless Bunny fifth. The man respect sixth. Approaching the three quarter pole. Western Dreamer in front by two lengths. Odd two row a closer second. Ramsey's two alone the inside third. Stonebridge do run alongside fourth. Three quarters. One twenty six and two. Around the far turn, Western Dreamer in front now by three lengths, or two rows second. Two lengths back to Ramsey's two, third. Gap of two and a half lengths, Dauntless Bunny on the rail, fourth. They're at the head of the stretch, Western Dreamer draws away now by four lengths, or two row the outside, second. Ramsey's two, third. Through the stretch, Western Dreamer by four lengths, or two row second. Western Dreamer in front. Favorites will finish one and two is Western Dreamer, three-year-old gilded son of Western Hanover. Fourth win in 14 starts, owned by the Dailies. Matthew Pat Jr. and Daniel of Ontario, trained by Bill Robinson, who has not been sending nearly as many down here as he did in past years, but this one comes home a winner. Arturo second at six to five, and Ramsey's two will hold off the rest. And it looked from here that at point blank, will wind up sec, uh, fourth, excuse me, and earn a place in the final. 2-1-4, mile up in 54 and 3. And the prices have now gone official. And we'll get to the prices momentarily, but first, to tis the Art Rooney Pace Eliminations, the ninth edition thereof. We present Molly Galterio, the great granddaughter of the Chief, who will present the winning crystal to Michael Chance, driver of Western Dreamer, winner of the second Art Rooney Elimination. Well, Western Dreamer, we, we couldn't get you. First of all, let me apologize. Let's, let's, let me do this and get the ladies first. Let's talk about Vernon Blue Chip for a quick second. Was it as easy as it looked in, in the Hudson Philly? Oh, yes. Uh, that's uh, the easiest race she won, I think, in her career. You know, uh, I, I was a little concerned. I didn't know that she could uh, go around the half-mile track like she did. But it uh, looks like she's made for a half-mile track. Yeah, she certainly tried it very fast last quarter. I, I will refer from the... From the, from the the joke about giving you the Yonkers Trot Trophy instead of the Hudson Philly, but we appreciate you coming here, especially when you come here to win a couple of them. Let's talk about Western Dreamer. Um, I thought that maybe Luke might fight you a bit more for the top because once you made the top and then John Soros made the unfortunate break, there was really no pressure at all. Now, uh, Luke Torres is not as handy as mine in the first turn, so you have to be careful uh, in the first turn. And mine is he just goes around the, the around the track like a hoop around a barrel there, so he's just... It's a nice half-mile track horse. I'll take a look at the stretch at this point off these fractions. Arturo, the only one with really any kind of a, uh, a shot, but he's not going to get all that close to you. Let me ask you the same question I asked Paul McDonnell. At this point, are you looking to keep something in the tank for next week? No, I don't think so. You know, like uh, the horse is strong, and you know, I don't uh, worry about next week. There, he's, he's a sound horse, and I just want uh, him to raise good tonight and hope that he comes back on the same form next week. He's been. Uh, very consistent. He's hit the board now in his last six. I know you were third last week in the Meadowlands Pace Final. And, and Bill has certainly done a very good job of keeping him sharp regardless of whatever track size you put him on. Oh, yes. And everybody knows that uh, Bill Robinson, that's his specialty to keep him going. And he's doing a good job with this horse, too. Okay. We'll see you back next week. Yes. 
You gonna take advice from this son who's also won one tonight? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm still going to go on my own. Okay, Mike Lachance with our second Art Rooney with Western Dreamer. Congratulations, sir. Nice trip over. Vernon Blue Chip and this young man. See him back for next week's Art Rooney final. But for now, race number 12.